Hello everyone, Captain Naked Panda, and today I have a really short time, like around 30 minutes between my work and my volleyball practice. And I have watched today a video from Dustin Reacts, um, and he was talking about the mirror and uh, why he thinks that um, Luffy will not come through this mirror. And while I was watching this uh, this video, actually, I, I an idea came came into my mind that actually the mirror really looks like a kind of like a door or maybe an, an arc. And I started thinking, okay, so what do we connect the arcs with? And I googled a little bit around and <clears throat> what the one thing that made me a um, big impression is that around the world, in different countries, uh, they have built all these like uh, triumphant arcs or arcs of victories, uh, which uh, the purpose is to commem com commemorate uh, the victories of uh, of certain kings or uh, emperors or rulers or or anything like that. And uh, if if I have to get some some few examples about it, I have my source on the side. There is one in Saint Petersburg. There is. <clears throat> One in, in Rome called the Arch of Titus. There's a triumphal, triumphal arc in Orange. Uh, and, and all these different arcs which have the same purpose. To commemorate or to put in history the, the victories uh, and, and the one who has fallen in battle. And then I started thinking. Is that the whole setup that Oda wanted to make with, uh, with this mirror? So Luffy can go through the mirror. And actually representing that he is the one victorious after the after the fight. And then I, I, I googled a little bit more. And the most famous of this arc is the Triumphant Arc in, in, uh, in Paris. And when I looked around it, um, there is a really interesting picture. If you look from the, from the top, um, the Triumphant Arc is actually in the middle. And all the roads are leading towards the arc in the middle. And... I was thinking, okay, so now every mirror in Cocoa Island is broken. And uh, every basically the only way to get out in, 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 in this island is to go through that mirror. And this is kind of like the setup of saying, okay, so whatever you do, you end up there. The same way as uh, the Triumphant Arc in Paris is made. So whatever you you go through the main roads always lead to this triumphant arc so in my idea the the inspiration behind the mirror is actually the triumphant arc in paris also to dig a little bit deeper of the reasons why these arcs are normally built i googled it a little bit more and i found in wikipedia that the triumphant arcs are used to commemorate victorious generals or significant significant public events. And these public events could be the founding of new colonies, the death, the death of a member of the imperial family, or the accession of a new emperor. So I started thinking, okay, until now, uh, Katakuri had this uh, perfect image uh, in, in Big Mom Pirate's mind. And now several members have seen him with his imperfections. And even several, even the uh, Flampe has uh, said that she's going to expose him uh, to everybody else. Uh, also, it was mentioned that Katakuri, Katakuri's back has never touched the ground in a fight. And if he loses this fight, um, and also Flambe tells everybody else uh, for his, uh, uh, about his imperfections, could this be his fall uh, in the in the ranks in the Big Mom Pirates? And also, will he be the outcast, symbolizing that uh, this is the death of uh, the Karakuri's image, which the arcs are normally built for? Uh, also, uh, I, I mentioned earlier that they're built in order to commemor commemorate the accession of a new emperor. So could that actually be related to Luffy defeating Karakuri and when he goes out through, through that mirror victorious? Um, this will be the symbol of, uh, of the, that Luffy has reached the new level uh, in, in, in the new world. 
so basically, as I said earlier, I think that this mirror really represents uh, or the inspiration behind it is this kind of triumphant arcs um, in, uh, around the world. And because of that, uh, and the whole setup that Oda has made uh, with the gathering of, uh, uh, of the Big Man Pirates around it and the, fi and the uh, fighting between Luffy and Karakuri, I think that Luffy will be victorious and he will go through that mirror uh, as, a, 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 as, a solo, as a solo victor. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't think that uh, the uh, pirates around, the Big Man Pirates around it will actually um, <clears throat> will actually stay there uh, waiting for Luffy. I think somebody will come in and will distract them uh, in a time where Luffy is coming out so they won't be able to deal with Luffy. But uh, anyway, not to waste a, a more time on it because I, I don't really have much time. But this is my idea. The, the, the mirror actually is a kind of like a victorious art that Luffy will go through in order to symbolize uh, his success over or his victory over Karakuri. Uh, so yeah, that's what I wanted to say for, for, for today. And yeah, until we meet again. Bye bye.